India has become the first nation to successfully land a spacecraft near the South Pole of the Moon. The country's PM Narendra Modi has praised the achievement, saying that the mission's success belongs to all of humanity. It's definitely a, a, a historic moment for India, very proud. Uh, there was a surge of, uh, of pride even before in the last few days, uh, teeing up to uh, today's landing. Uh, but now with uh, success on the southern side of the, con of, of the moon, the first ever by any country and the fourth uh, country in the world to have a spacecraft on the moon, it is definitely a path-breaking uh, one in terms of uh, its, its, uh, its, its spa space explorations off the southern side of the moon because of uh, what findings it can achieve and, and, and send back uh, when, when the rover does its uh, data collection for the next 14 days, uh, one lunar day in, in that sense. Uh, but at the moment, <clears throat> We've seen a huge uh, encouragement from the government, uh, especially from Prime Minister Modi. In the last few years, there was a failure in 2019 of the Chandrayaan-2, the predecessor to this one, which, uh, uh, the cra uh, which failed and crashed just a couple of kilometres above the moon's uh, surface. Uh, and since then, uh, one of the directors of the project said that we have been living, eating, drinking and sleeping the Chandrayaan-3 mission. And that's what has been proven right today uh, with... Uh, 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 with this mission. Uh, just in terms of comparison of, of the cost, uh, the Chandrayaan-3 mission has costed uh, $74 million, the whole project, according to ISRO. Uh, and uh, in comparison to that, uh, the, the Hollywood film Interstellar uh, was made with $165 million. Gravity, another film, uh, made with $100 million. So in comparison to the costs, uh, India has done really, really well in, 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 in making this a success and landing on the southern part of the moon.